Hello Impact users and welcome to tip of the week number 118. Today we're going to talk about managing shop drawing templates in Impact for Revit. If we take a look at a shop drawing, it could look like this where you have a different views, we have schedules, we have information. And all this is saved and controlled by the template. It's there in your shop drawing template. In a few seconds, you have all this information automatically generated in a shop drawing. Now, when you work with Impact, uh, you probably have different type of elements and you have a shop drawing template for each one of them. You also have a project specific template and you need to manage all those. That's why we have developed a new functionality called Manage Shop Drawing Templates, which will give you a better overview of, first of all, the placement of the Shop Drawing Template file, an overview of the name, the description, and more functionalities here to work with when you select the Shop Drawing. Let's see how it works in reality. If we go to the Impact Revit interface, you see we have an element and we have a shop drawing here. If we need to edit something in the shop drawing, you need to open the shop drawing. Until now, you uh, had to, in order to open the template file, you needed to go into the project browser and go through all these files in order to find the placement of your shop drawing template. You don't need to that anymore. Um, this is in the past. From from now on, if you want to open a shop drawing template, you're going to use the new functionality called shop drawing templates. This new functionality gives you an overview over the templates placed on the common level. That's your company standard. And what you most probably want to use is the project specific templates. Here, if you select the template, you can copy it. Instead of starting from scratch, you can just copy a template, just edit further on it. You can delete the template. You can rename. Let's say if we have this uh, sandwich element template, you can rename it, be even more specific for, uh, for this shop drawing template so that give that provides more information for you and your users. You can uh, import, export, but what you're most probably interested in is to edit it. And this you can do with a few clicks. You just select the template, say edit or double click on it. And here it is, Impact Rabbit will automatically open the template for you. So forget about going into the project browser and clicking a lot of times to get into the template file. This is in the past now. If you want to open a shop drawing template, you're just going to uh, go to our new functionality, manage shop drawings, double click on it. And here it is. Here is the beam template that is open. After you open the template, you go to the settings and make the necessary changes. Whatever you need to do, press apply and the template is good to use. I hope that you're going to use this new functionality and this information was used for you. I would like to say thank you for watching this tip of the week and have a nice day.